thank you. Your appreciation underwhelms me. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. Today is Halloween, and I'm really starting to panic. I need three more guys to fill out the ass of my Joy Behar costume. <laughs> But everyone's getting dressed up. James Carville is going as a blind mole rat. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren is going as one of her ancestors. Wow. Kamala Harris will be dressing up as a Hispanic, Black, Asian, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, Muslim, and Jewish woman. <laughs> Hillary Clinton going as Monica Lewinsky with hopes to get laid. David Muir, Nora O'Donnell, and Dana Bash will all be going as journalists. <laughs> and last but not least, Nancy Pelosi is ugh, going as herself. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing scarier than that. All right. <laughs> so while Arnold Schwarzenegger endorsed Kamala Harris, legendary astronaut Buzz Aldrin endorsed Donald Trump. So, pretty. Pretty similar stories. One landed on the moon, the other one landed on his maid. <laughs> but you can see why Arnold went with Kamala. She said she would clean house if elected, and he can't resist a lady holding a mop. <laughs> Last night, rioters descended on Los Angeles after the Dodgers won the World Series, where many of these rioters first learned that the Dodgers won the World Series. That's such a great point. It's just a coincidence. Two LA erupted into chaos with looters raiding a Nike store and a mob burning a bus. Things are so bad the Menendez brothers are now demanding to stay in prison. <laughs> and President Biden bit a baby dressed as a chicken at a White House Halloween party. Well, now who's the cannibal? His doctor said they're just glad the baby wasn't dressed as a thermometer. <laughs> so disgusting. But just a joke. So what do you do when somebody calls you garbage? Of course it matters if it's from someone whose opinion you value, like your spouse or your relative or that Chinese lap dancer I met in Croatia. But what if it's coming from this guy? I mean, this guy thinks you're garbage? The guy who didn't even acknowledge he had a grandchild because she came from the wrong side of the tracks? To him, she was garbage, which kind of makes him garbage. And yet Joe called Trump supporters garbage. And the next day, Trump showed up for a campaign event asking the media one question. How do you like my garbage truck? How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. I hope you enjoy this garbage truck. We enjoy it. So Trump call, Joe calls Trump supporters garbage. Trump shows up for a campaign event in a garbage truck. I wonder what would happen if Biden had called them d <laughs> Would Trump have showed up in this? Yeah, he would. You know he would. he would. So why does this moment matter? Well, first, the same media that went insane over a comedian's joke about a trash crisis in a U.S. territory now views Biden calling half the country garbage a hoax. The very same news media that ignored all the times Donald Trump has called American citizens and American voters scum and garbage actually tried to turn Joe Biden's use of the word garbage into a controversial news story today. He landed in Green Bay just a short time ago and then pulled this campaign stunt, speaking to reporters from a garbage truck, proof that he and his supporters are giving no grace to a gaffe by President Biden, where he, in his explanation, inadvertently called Trump supporters garbage. You see that? Inadvertently. Like, that was inadvertent. Like when I inadvertently landed on that candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, the garbage line could be misconstrued. Been there. But do we owe them that grace, as Nora suggests? Hell no. After all, Biden wrote in on the most divisive lie ever, the fine people hoax, which was thoroughly debunked. 
Worse, it was the tentpole hoax that initiated the Trump is Hitler narrative that they've been pushing ever since. It was divisive, destructive, and even when they knew it was false, they kept at it. So forgive me if I don't give a if Biden just got fine people hoaxed. What's good for the goose is good for the slander. So while Joe's biting babies, Trump is chewing up Kamala's campaign like a toddler dressed as a Big Mac. <laughs> but there's a bigger problem. Whether you're called irredeemable, deplorable, or garbage, the rot is coming from the top. And it's undermining the fabric of the social contract. It's not team sport politics. I got no problems with tribes, allegiances, clubs, even cults. Hell, I had Scientologists as neighbors, and they were always willing to invite me over for a threesome. <laughs> because there was always a bedrock premise underneath it. It's the cheesiest phrase ever, love thy neighbor. It's corny because we get it wrong. When we hear love thy neighbor, we think of Ned Flanders offering a high diddly ho neighborino to Homer. But love thy neighbor doesn't matter when things are good, only, only when it's bad. And if Kamala wins, you both may have to fend off roving gangs of transgendered Venezuelans with student loan debt. That societal agreement is no different than the First or the Second Amendment. They don't exist for hello and goodbye. It's for bad words and bad hombres, which means no matter who you root for, you're still neighbors. If you're a Yankees fan and you live next to a Red Sox fan, don't sit near each other a game. Actually, you may both want to avoid both those cities. But you can still borrow the leaf blower, but then return the favor by leaving your blinds open when you undress. <laughs> but love thy neighbor became immoral once radicals made the political personal. In the 60s, the left's most heralded voices declared that every relationship is one of power between boss and worker, husband and wife, white and black, even me and my pool boy. I keep telling him, someday I'll get a pool. <laughs> Suddenly, the equality of connection turns vertical. It's no longer we're in this together. It's now who's on top. They changed love thy neighbor into love thy neighbor unless we disagree. The relationship is transactional, but not based on neighborly stuff. But now your neighbor won't talk to you if you're voting for Trump. Now, I know, do you really want a jerk like that in your life anyways? But that's where calling half the country Nazi garbage gets you. You end up in a place where it's harder and harder to return to loving one's neighbor when the media and their team calls them trash. My advice, get your lawn tools back before Tuesday. Let's welcome tonight's guest. Tonight, his Halloween costume is town creep. Host of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts show, Jim Norton. She's spicy and strong and proves liberals wrong. Goes to the Sage Steel show. Sage Steel. <laughs> She'd carve a jack-o'-lantern, but she's not legally allowed near knives. New York Times best-selling author, Fox News contributor, Captain. <laughs> and for Halloween, the Hulk is dressing up as him. New York Times best-selling author, comedian, former NWA World Champion. Jim, you've been called garbage most of your life. <laughs> yes, I have been, Greg. Yes. <laughs> proud of it. You, you should be proud of <laughs> sure. it. You wear it like a badge of yes, trash. Yes, I do. <laughs> now, um, what did you make? It's a two part question. What did you make of Hinchcliffe's joke? Much ado about nothing. And what do you make of Trump's garbage truck? Um, I, I mean, Tony's a friend, so, yeah. and I think he's very funny. So, I mean, I, I don't understand this. This, I, this desire to hire comics that are known yeah. for doing material like Tony. Like, if you're yeah. going to hire a guy like Tony, expect Tony to do what he does. That's yes. what he does. Yeah. If you want a comic that does something very gentle, then hire a gentle comic. Mm. Um, but I had obviously had no problem with it. Um, yeah. You know, it's funny, because he came on as a comic, but the liberal media described him as a speaker. It's, it's crazy. It, but the whole thing is, is, is like a shell game. We're all pretending to be upset yes. that we're being insulted. And it's not just, it's everyone, the whole country. Yeah. Uh, America's motto should be, oh, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's fake. Yes. Everyone's, everyone's a Nazi or a pedophile, and those are just my friends. Yes. <laughs> It is funny, though. Nobody knew about the trash crisis in Puerto Rico until he made that joke. Yeah, I, I had no idea until he said that. Yeah. But anyone who's watched Tony, like, that's the type of stuff Tony does. Like, yeah. That's what he does.
Sage, what do you make of the way Trump manages to take mm -hmm. screw-ups like Biden and turn it into comedy gold? And also Kamala with the, with the McDonald's stint as well. Yes, I, it's brilliant. I mean, yeah. honestly, kudos to his team, right? Yeah. And then he was saying how quickly this happened, like 30 minutes before, and somehow they got a truck yeah. with his name on it. And he's like, sure, I'll put an orange vest on. Can you imagine Kamala's team, number one, being that creative, no. And number two, asking her to do it and what her answer would have been if this had been reversed. Right. Like, that would never happen. I give him credit. He's almost 80 years old. He's like, what the hell? Let's go for it. They said it. We're going to take advantage. Like, yeah. It's smart. You know, Kat, uh, Sage brings up his age. I can't help but think that is making Trump more likable. As he gets older, he's becoming more like a mensch. He's like mm -hmm. just, and he, ha he seems to be having more fun. He's ha he is having fun right now. And I mean, you, I, I don't care who you are. Everybody who saw him pull up in that garbage truck <laughs> thought in their head, God, that is good. Yeah. <laughs> At, like, Jim, we talk about, we've talked about this a million times. People, you can understand, maybe, I, you can, I mean, I'll believe you if you say you don't like certain policies, certain things about it, but he is funny. When people say he's not funny, I'm like, you've truly lost it. Yeah. That is, that, that is how you're handling all your supporters being called garbage. You're pulling up in a garbage truck. <laughs> yes. As a very wealthy man. Yeah. And he even said, like, someone suggested this to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, he's... He's not, he, he's in on the joke of how ridiculous all this is. It's, it, it, and the fact that they can't say the obvious with Biden, oh, he was just, you're not, you're, the, the, what they're going with is that I'm too stupid to understand the nuances of his speech. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody believes that. Yeah. He was struggling to get out whatever sentence, but you're also expecting me to believe that, and you're expecting to be, me to believe that for people who have spent all week calling this group of people Nazis, garbage would be a bridge too far. Yes, and that, oh, uh, we yeah. meant the Nazi part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We meant the Nazi part, but not the garbage. I mean, if you're asking people on the one side to accept things that are insults to their intelligence, and then on the other side, it's just dude in a garbage truck having a great time. Yeah, it's a win, a big win, Tyrus. Trump is up in Arizona, North Carolina, Georgia, Nevada, has a slim lead in PA. Uh, he might flip Wisconsin and Michigan, or she might. What are, are you still, you remember you said that if she wins, you shave the beard. Well, I'm sorry, did I miss something? <laughs> did, did you not see what I did to the Yankees last night? I'm Tyrus Nostradamus here, okay? <laughs> this is not close. This is not the behavior of a man who's worried about winning states. This is what I do when I know I'm up 46. Bring out the hot dogs, let's truck it up. The one good thing I do know is that President Trump might be open to legalizing weed because he clearly has a couple of bros on his squad are like, you should totally get a dump truck. Yo. Now I know he doesn't, he doesn't smoke it, but he's, the one, he is listening to people. He's a different dude from 2016. Yeah, 2016, I agree. Trump was aggressive and bash and wonder. He's been through that. He's ducked bullets, literally. Mm -hmm. So he's laid back. Anybody who wants to come to the party, come on in. And any ideas are not to. I mean, literally, I had an interview with him talking about maybe we could not have taxes for police officers and firefighters and, and soldiers. He's like, you know what? Maybe we should do that. So maybe, when, wait. Maybe he is smoking. I don't know. Yeah. But the point is, is like, relaxed, calm, having fun. And to Kat's point, really, Lawrence, you couldn't say, that was, touche. That was, hey, come yeah. on, yeah, you got yeah. us. You, yeah. The truck was I, good. By the way, yeah. the, the, the pot thing, that's only for black people. Remember, yeah. Kamala said it's only for the black voters. Yes. Which, it, again, helps Trump, since he's Hitler, the fact that he has high brothers making policy yes. decisions <laughs> on his campaign is a good thing. Yeah, but it, it, it is funny. If, if somebody does something funny and you react like Dean Wormer of Animal House, which yeah. is what happened to Lawrence O'Donnell, yeah. Y you're, you're, you've lost. He's yeah. part of the joke now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Greg, I'm starting to feel left out as a Jill Stein guy. <laughs> <laughs> you should vote your passion, which is Jill Stein. <laughs> I have a Jill Stein sign on my lawn just to drive Democrats crazy. <laughs> they come over there and then I flash them. <laughs> what is with this audience? They don't like yeah. filthy humor. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Before we go, a quick announcement. You can come see me on my Gutfeld Live 2025 tour. Look at that picture of me. Looks very Nazi-like. 
Stalin S. <laughs> Stalin S. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., I'll be all over. I'll be in Indiana, Tennessee, Michigan, and that's just to name a few states. Go to gutfelt.com for tickets. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.